go here at the Sandy Lake Volunteer Fire and Rescue Company. We want to thank everyone for coming out tonight on such a beautiful evening, perfect weather, temperatures. For a huge tradition, we want to take this opportunity to get the community together tonight. So everyone, clap your hands. We're about to get started with beautiful weather and a beautiful parade coming up. A lot of folks coming together, helping support local businesses. Local is a huge part of this community. It's something that we work hard at at 21 News. I'm Lindsay McCoy with WFMJ TV, your 5 p.m. anchor. And so honored to be here tonight. I've looked forward to this for weeks now. I can't wait to come out and see you. And I'm just so thankful that it's on such a beautiful evening. So thank you for having me. And we could not do this without all of you. So thank you for being here tonight setting up with your families, getting out the chairs and the blankets and the little ones. I'm sure they're ready for that candy. I see them with little bags in hand. So we have a lot for you coming up tonight. Again, thank you so much for having us. And here we go. <laughs> All right, we want to thank the bank for giving out balloons to the little ones too. Lots of beautiful colors there. And here they are kicking off the parade this year in 2023. The Boy Scout Troop 78 and the Cub Scout Pack 78. They're led by Chuck Kocher, leader of the Boy Scouts, and Jolene Parker, leader of the Cubs. And you can see all the patches that they're wearing. They know how to do things. So if you need help, we need to get their number. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh. Such cuties. Oh. residents of the borough for 50 years while they raised two sons, Douglas and Michael. And look at them hand in hand there on the float. Hello, do that wave. You know, the one that they train you to do. <laughs> yes, we all know it. <laughs> now Penny, she's volunteered at the Lakeview Area Public Library for the past 20 years, as well as Meals on Wheels for 18 years. Such an important thing. Thank you for your help and service keeping everyone together and fed. John is a past borough council member and current member of the zoning hearing board for the borough. So they make tough decisions here in the town. Their hobbies include car shows and hunting for John and Penny. She likes to read and swim. Probably loves that lake to cool off too. Congratulations to this year's king and queen, John and Penny. Again, 54 years of marriage, a big round of applause for that. <laughs> yeah. Coming up next, you know the sirens, you know the lights. Sandy Lake Volunteer Fire and Rescue. We have the tanker driven by Dave Knaus, the engine driven by Brooklyn Link, and the squad driven by Denise Brown. Dave in the tanker. Dave, thank you for the trailer that we're standing on right now. Thanks for your help. <laughs> 
Well, we already saw Denise Brown, Jimmy Brown. Her other half is coming up. He's with Mercer Auto Wreckers. And we want to wish them a very happy wedding anniversary. Tomorrow is your wedding anniversary, seven years. Congratulations. It's a lot to celebrate here. Hey, okay, now we're moving on to Ann Coleman, Mercer County Republican Party member. Yes, Ann Coleman for County Commissioner. We also have Bill Finley for County Commissioner running up in this upcoming election. And we have Tim Callahan running for Sheriff of Mercer County, working hard to keep the community safe. Yeah, that's it. All right, next 
coming into town, Clintonville Fire Department. Throwing out a PRD, waiting to the little ones. We wanted to see that red truck in action. Ranger of the Ohio Company. Odd Fellows, Sandy Lake and Lady Worth, Rebecca Lodge, number 328. Now, Lady Worth, Rebecca Lodge, 328, meets on second and fourth on Saturdays of the month. So the second and fourth Saturdays of the month at 10 in the morning if you want to join them. They are busy. They have a lot going on. Hi there. Looking comfortable with the hay and everything. This looks good. I love the float. And they meet at the Sandy Lake Oddfellows Lodge. They're honored to be the home lodge for the current Grand Master of Independent Order of the Oddfellows. And this year, they are celebrating 200 years and Sandy Lake Lodge is celebrating 160 years. Right now, they have 25 members and they meet on the first and third month on Monday nights at 7.30. So you can learn more by going online. Jim McCluskey for Mercer County Commissioner coming in in a hot ride tonight. Looking for your boat fast. All right. In a Corvette. Loving it. Good to see ya. How are you? Oh, wow. Here you go. Here, I'll have the alcohol for you. Oh, All right, now we see Bob Pebbles, Pebbles Construction, ready to help you out with all things you need done. Next we have Sandy Campbell. Hey Sandy. I like your ride there. Look at that Corvette. That is a 1969 Cuda, by the way. If you're friends with her, she might give you a lift in that car. That would be fun. <laughs> the wind is blowing, that's why. That car has been a part of this town for 51 years, just so you know. Painted by Cody House, Heartbeat Swell, thanks to the Crosby's Wicked Red Garage. All right, now we have Jackson Center Volunteer Fire Company. Hey guys, can you honk that horn for me? All right, I've always wanted to do that, right? <laughs> Who doesn't? Now we have Jackson Center Volunteer Fire Company again, rolling in. Hi right, guys. What a nice night. Everyone is so comfortable. We have a nice breeze. We cannot complain about the temperature. We say, hey, little ones, hey. We'll see you on the news. <laughs> There's the chief, the boss. We call him the boss. If someone's a chief or in charge, just keep it simple. Rebecca Lease rolling in with the Sandy Lake Implement <laughs> tractor and trailer. Hello. And they've got candy too, so make sure you get your bags ready. We don't want to miss out. Again, we want to 
thank you for supporting local, coming out here this evening. It's definitely a huge mission at our station at 21 WFMJ and 21 News at 5. We want to make sure we're bringing everyone together. If you're hearing about it, we are certainly talking about it. So thank you for watching and supporting us. And remember, you can always reach out to us too. Tell us what's happening in your community. We want to keep the community together, united, and also cover stories that maybe not everyone knows about. So be sure to not be shy. Reach out and say hey. WKBN is 27, right? And there's the owner, Rebecca Lees. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for bringing out your crew. They look good. Again, the Sandy Lake Implement. They've got it all. Next up, Stoneboro's Volunteer Fire Company. We cover a lot of stories about them needing extra helpers at all these volunteer fire departments. So it's so nice that we get out and show them our appreciation. They're there for us, especially in times of need. So thanks, guys. Thanks for your service. Thanks for helping. Oh yeah, the church. Yeah, the oh, right over here. Road, it was, I mean, well, they they had a up there and they were stopping the track. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's up to your yeah. call. No, I like that. All right, we definitely want the Methodist United and Faith Church to come back up. Because we have a special award to hand out their way. Oh, Penn Fire Police. Hey, there you are. Again, hello. I need your number. This is what happens in the news. We're always looking for phone numbers. Can I have your number? Can I have your number? I'll give you mine. 
All right. Well, we have a winner this evening, so we want the Methodist United in Faith Church to come on up whenever they get a chance. Oh, hey, guys, you're here. And safely enter the stage, because this can be... There you go, guys. Careful, careful. I want to present you with this first place parade plaque. Great job. I loved all of the colors, and you really made a nice float. Do you want to say anything special tonight? We're just excited to be part of this community and pray for you and serve you. That's Jesus with. Absolutely. You have to have faith in your home. Guys, what do you think about winning? Awesome and happy. Those are good words to hear from little kids. Thank you so much. We'll take your photo and everything. Don't go away. And I'll see the rest of you on 21 News at 5 on weeknights, every night. And if you want to come over and say hey, I'm right over here. If you want to say hello, I'd love to meet you. Again, have a great evening. Thank you for being an Armstrong customer. As your internet, TV, and telephone provider, we continually invest in our state-of-the-art fiber optic network across six states to meet current needs and stay ahead of future demand. Our employees are your family, friends, and neighbors. Their dedication to customer service sets us apart as an industry leader. We believe it's our responsibility to be good community partners through sponsorships and outreach programs like Breaking Bread. Why Armstrong? Unmatched employees. Unmatched customer care. Unmatched fiber network.